keep you long. Uh, I've been dying to share this a story with you guys. It's a about a man. He was at his breakfast table reading a paper one morning. His wife came over to him. She hugged him. She smiled at him, and she said, "I bet you don't know what today is, do you?" And he looked at her and said, "Of course I I know what today is." He went back to reading his paper. This guy, obviously, he didn't have a clue. A lot of men don't when your wife says that. Um, he was afraid that he would make his wife upset because she was very sensitive to these types of things, uh, to special occasions. And he thought to himself, is it her birthday? That must be it. So after he got off work, he called the floors and he had some white roses delivered to his wife. What if it's our anniversary? said and not her birthday. So he went to the jewelry store down from his office, picked out a beautiful old necklace, and uh, had it specially delivered to his wife. And as he started home from work, he decided that maybe he should also stop and buy some very expensive box of chocolate to bring to her, just in case. So he pulls into the driveway, and his wife runs out to greet him. And as he gets out of the car and presents her with a box of chocolate, she throws her arms around him and says, oh, honey, this is the best Groundhog Day I have ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a special day for West Bay. At the Christian Church, we too are celebrating in our anniversary. We are celebrating 124 years of God's faithfulness to, uh, to us as a church. In our scripture, in particular verse 13, Paul gives us um, several ingredients of how to continue forward as the theme has been this morning, West Bay Advent Christian Church has been constantly moving forward into the future. And how we continue this forward momentum of being a Christian, which in turn is a committed church to the work of the kingdom of God. Look at Philippians 3, verses 12 to 14. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, Christ Jesus, is calling us. Let us pray. Our eternal God, we are grateful, Lord, for the wonderful scene that has been done so far. We thank you for the, the message behind those voices. We are so grateful to be surviving another year, Lord, of, of being a functioning, healthy church, Lord, to look after our community that we were called to. Lord, I pray that you get me out of your way, Father, so that your message will be received wholeheartedly in the most simplest way that I can present it, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want us to look at verse 13, specifically just verse 13 throughout our scripture. I want you to look at the first part, 13a. He writes, I have not achieved it. Paul is saying to us that he has not arrived yet, West Bay. And to me, that's a very amazing statement for a Christian to hear. 